So now we come to another situation and let's talk about depressions, mood disorders. Mood disorders in which we talk about multiple terms which we which should be clear. The terms which I would love to clear is okay. As I make a simple diagram, I will put the terms here later. First of all, mood disorders. In the mood disorders, there is inappropriate fluctuation in the moods. There is inappropriate fluctuation in the mood. Is that right? Uh, normal fluctuation is absolute. A little bit day-to-day -day fluctuation in the mood is absolutely normal. Rather, a person with held healthy mind should have a little bit fluctuation every day. The small events of the life. One of the best part of the mood is your capacity to enjoy the small things of the life. When you see just a beautiful bird and it makes you a little happy. You see a good plants, it makes you a little happy. You see a very beautiful building and you feel good. Is that right? Yeah? And a beautiful day, yes. These small things are normal things. Right? Okay, I will tell you something. If a patient comes to you and he says, for the last many months, I have lost the capability to enjoy the small things of the life. That is the beginning of which disease? Depression. Very classical feature of depression is, patient loses the capability and capacity to enjoy the day-to-day -day small things. Is that right? For example, a childhood, uh, for example, you enjoy the football or uh, some game in the on TV. But with the time, that does not give you player which you used to enjoy. Maybe it's the beginning of some depression. Let me make a diagram because illustrations make the things really easier. We'll have big discussion about mood disorders when we'll talk about behavioral science. But just right now, I put this is your mood pendulum. It keeps on fluctuating, isn't it? Now, if it fluctuates from here, this is the central point, your mood come a little, for example, here you have happiness, little happiness, and here you have little sadness. Now look, if it moves like this daily, that is normal. For example, you just open the newspaper and you read there are few children who died in Africa because they didn't have food. And you have a lot of food in front of you. It makes you a little sad. It's very normal. It should be like that. Or you open the newspaper and you find that uh, Mr. Trump has given funny comments about some other celebrity and they're very funny. And you laugh at that. That is also very normal. <laughs> that is not adding anything to your life, but still that may a funny comment of one celebrity about other may add a little happiness to your life also. Is that right? There are small things in the life. Just having a good cup of coffee in the morning may give you some happiness. Right? So, uh, yes, you need it now, but it's not morning. Sure, uh, you need a drink, I mean, uh, soft drink. Right? Now, uh, what I'm talking about, that these little things, for example, you go to your lecture and you get a good lecture, that gives you a little happiness. That is normal. Or if you go a lecture and professor does not turn up, you become little sad because you were expecting some knowledge. So that is very normal. That is normal things, isn't it? So this is normal fluctuation. Now we come to some uh, <laughs> fluctuations which are really not good. If someone is coming here or someone coming here, now it is very, very sad person. Even this may be also normal because if some big loss happens to your life and your sadness is appropriate in degree and duration to the loss it is it should not be called depression layman term of depression is different and term of depression in medical science is different like a person who is truly depressed he has many many features right he has some disturbances in his weight he may have some disturbances in appetite a depressed patient may have disturbances in sleep especially early morning wakefulness uh, a patient who is depressed should have three special things unfortunately this is very deadly triangle the patients who are truly clinically depressed they have feeling of hopelessness hopelessness feeling of helplessness 
person feel all the time hopeless and helpless he knows there's no hope and he thinks he cannot do anything about his present situation right so there's hopelessness and with that there is helplessness and with that his mood is or inability to enjoy day to day small players rather this is such an important feature that doctor have put a special term for that what is that term when someone loses the capacity to enjoy the small things of the life day to day which he used to uh, enjoy previously if someone is not enjoying a particular game and he never enjoyed that that is not depression there's a special there's a special term when you lose the mental capacity to enjoy the little things of the life even sometimes you just see a small baby smiling that may make your heart happy yes you no know, whole this complex will go to depression there's a special term which doctors should know write it down and hodenia and hodenia and hodenia is a term which is now used for inability for enjoying the day to day pleasures of the life is it right if someone will be only happy when he will get very big things in his life probably he is going to be happy at very few occasions in his life is it right now when we talk about uh, this is a very sad man because maybe he divorced his wife or maybe he had big financial reverse right but if his sadness is appropriate with the degree of loss and degree of sadness is appropriate and duration of sadness is appropriate that should not be taken as really big depression and should not be treated as antidepressant drug but if someone goes more there right for example someone comes here fluctuation on the very negative way he is all the time hopeless helpless no capability to enjoy the small things of the life maybe some utter, uh, some you can say vegetative changes weight loss is there or weight gain is there or appetite is changed he is not taking care and looking you know hypoactive and if he has some losses in life because depression may be reactive or endogenous endogenous depression is that first due to some biochemical disturbances in neurotransmitters and their receptors someone get depressed right and after the depression he develop losses because if you are depressed then you may lose your job you may lose your spouse because you are not responsive to so many responsibilities right many people first get depressed and then they develop losses and some people develop reactive depression reactive depression means there is a big blow to life and in reaction to that there is big loss in the life and then you develop depression so there are two types of depression one depression is out of blue i means it comes from within is that right that is called endogenous depression right that really responds well to the drugs and sometimes you develop reactive depression reactive depression mean for example there is a woman who loses her husband if for about uh, her husband dies suppose and for 6 months she is she is uh, down in the mood and gradually she comes back to the life after 6 months or 8 months that is normal that is her normal bereavement time but if there is a woman who says 17 years back i lost my husband and i never enjoyed the life and everyone tell after seven after, from last 17 years she is down and then it is not normal isn't it of course we agree she had a loss of husband 17 years back but this duration and degree of law, uh, you can say uh, low mood is not appropriate she is clinically depressed then of course these days no one should have so many years of depression without treatment because now we can treat it with the drugs or with appropriate psychotherapy or both is that right so anyway now this is you can say moderate mild to moderate moderate depression and clinical depression i mean clinical depression because i want to differentiate the clinical depression from day to day term which you use i'm depressed because my girlfriend didn't come to uh, restaurant in time she was two hours late because she has some genuine problem but i'm really depressed that is not the true depression is that right uh, that may be a little disappointment right but true depression is which last longer which is inappropriate to your losses 
and you have generalized feeling of hopelessness and helplessness and very important thing feeling of worthlessness yes inappropriate feeling of worthlessness right you can say the four things helplessness hopelessness worthlessness and with all three things inability to enjoy day to day small players of the life that really puts a very strong indication to de clinical depression right now mild to moderate but some people become so depressed so depressed that during the depression they develop some delusions for example delusions of poverty delusions of nihilism right someone during the depression for many months is depressed and one day he says you see this is not me this is my ghost actually i died last night and you people have buried me this may be depression which is very severe and during this depressive state person has developed delusions is that right that is very very severe depression another thing as i told you the person should fluctuate like this but sometimes due to some heavy blows of the life you may go become very sad and sometimes some very good unexpected happiness may take you here for example you love someone and she says yes to you you become very happy i'm talking about before marriage right so you become very happy and excited right do you think it's uh, physiological or pathological it's physiological you know god is merciful to us at least we are allowed to be happy before marriage <laughs> is that right we could never we could never really uh, appreciate the god for all the blessings he has and we happily go for marriage that is also very important thing anyway so when sometimes you come very very happy this is also normal my friends we call it ecstasy ecstasy extremely happy right this this capability is also normal but remember when you are very happy or very sad if it is physiological you should remain in touch with reality in your happiness if you lose the contact with reality that is not called physiological happiness right you should be in touch with the real world so ecstasy a very happiness is an appropriate happiness to some big good gains in life which may be emotional gains or social gains or financial gains or professional gains whatever they are for example you are going for step one preparation somehow you are expecting uh, your result to be 88 89 but when you see the result and it is 99 you should be ecstatic at least for few days you should be very happy isn't it all right so that is normal but sometimes people become really too happy due to neurotransmitter disturbance and they look very colorful right for example a man enters in this room having suppose blue cap yellow shirt white pant and maybe very uh, pink shoes right and he looks very confident and he talks in a very flowery way right and very happy looking full energetic but all this inappropriate is it right because for example we are taking a lecture in a very serious way and he comes here he say oh I, i want to tell a joke between the lecture i tell him okay you sit down i will tell the joke but he doesn't agree he push me there and stand here and happily start some jokes is that right maybe there's a little something wrong so such person who has very much elevated mood inappropriately elated mood full of energy and during that that person says okay uh, you people are very good i like all of you so i give you 200 dollars to everyone and then he goes do you think it's a normal behavior There's something wrong with his happiness that is not a true happiness that may be hypomania that is hypomania as there was this is a pathological situation he talks very fast he walks very fast he is restless as and he has big grandiose plans for example he may say okay all of you are becoming doctors fine whatever score you get i will manage your residency in john hopkins right then it means he is in some mood which is not normal 
Is that right? And because he is going to get residency for all of you, and whatever score is there, right? So this is hypomania. These people are they look as if they are very high mood, they are having you know pathologically high confidence, pathologically high sort of energy, right? Very vibrant initially. It's exactly in degree as you become mild to moderate depressed. It is a clinical situation. This is a clinical situation. But as I told you, sometimes depression fluctuates up to very severe depression. We call this psychotic depression. Psychotic depression when you lose contact with reality. Right? You become so depressed and you say uh, depression of uh, you develop delusions of nihilism or delusions of poverty in extreme depression. Is that right? Or you come to here. The same person who was arranging John, John Hopkins residences for you, he say, why you people are working so hard? Forget about step one and step two. I will arrange the residency without those things. Just keep good contact in touch with me. Now you see there is something wrong. People here are in, they have developed now delusions about their grandiosity. Someone who is talking too much and his talk is very, as you, uh, you can say inappropriate with the reality. It looks very confident. As I told you, the delusions of grandiosity are part of mania. It's a clinical condition in which person is pathologically overconfident, pathologically high mood, and uh, having high degree of energy, but and uh, delusions and beliefs which are not with the reality. Many people, have you ever heard that someone going in the car and keep on throwing the dollars in the road? There are people. Or you heard someone that someone in a happy state of mind gift all his property and other things to the other people? Some people do it. People who are manic. For example, you just wish that, uh, I wish to be friend with a person who is millionaire manic. I don't know, one day he write a check for 20 million dollars for me. Manic people. One day they are happy, they are not in touch with reality. If they are really rich, Mercedes goes to you, his apartment goes to you, bank balance goes to you and uh, you are happy up to this. Then he says, okay, uh, I am having, uh, I think, a palace, Beking, uh, this Buckingham Palace in England? Uh, my pronunciation is not right, but still it is there, that is a good news. Buckingham Palace, okay. Okay, whatever it is, whatever it is, before we, okay, Buckingham, Buckingham, okay, look, whatever palace, there is a big palace in England for the royal family, right, that manic person may be giving that palace to you, and he give the Eiffel Tower to you, and maybe Statue of Liberty, he sell it to you, so you know there is something wrong, it is not normal person, isn't it, he is feeling great. And maybe one day, not so, these are small gifts for him. Maybe he decide to uh, give the state of California to you. <laughs> yes. So this is something very pathological, isn't it? So that is a patient with mania. Is that right? This is a problem with his neurotransmitter. And people who fluctuate too much on these things, maybe they have problem with the mood fluctuation regulating center, which is in hypothalamus. Now, listen, let's recap all of this. A little fluctuation, day to day life is absolutely normal. Even bigger fluctuation appropriate to your life situation is also normal. Sometimes this is life, you may have big loss in your life and you, you should be very sad. That is very normal if you are sad or some big gain in the life. This is life, sometimes you get on especially big things and uh, you should be happy also, not happy, happy. So this is day-to-day -day fluctuation, which is of a healthy mind. This is not day-to-day, -day, but still with big events of life, right? Then some people, now listen carefully, some people with too much fluctuate to this side, even to normal to abnormal degree, with very small thing, they just fluctuate to this line. These are perpetually unhappy people. Have you seen the people who are all the time unhappy? Today they are unhappy because someone, professor did not come and tomorrow they are unhappy because professor come. Is that right? Uh, 
maybe today morning they were unhappy because girlfriend did not return the call and the evening they were unhappy they are again one unhappy because girlfriend really returned the call there are people who they are unhappy about everything or actually they are unhappy uh, they have problem with the mood they that either they come normal or they always fluctuate to the things which should make normal person happy they may make these people only less sad so these people are either more sad or less sad they are not happy this is also a problem and this is called what is the term used for this yeah what we call it dysthymia what is this called dysthymia dysthymia people are not fully depressed but their problem is that for usually for clinically we say someone has such type of mood problem more than two years right that all the time they are unhappy is that right this time yeah but more more troublesome are the people who are opposite they are having this time with very little happiness they become very happy right and with very little sad thing they become very sad the mood fluctuate too much for example you do a little favor to them they become very happy with you and you are just enjoying that happiness of your friend and you made a little disappointment to him and he is very angry is that right there are people unfortunately they have problem with the mood regulating center neurotransmitter problem that with little happiness they become extremely happy for example i remember one of my friend if his father is sending his money every month to him his father used to send his money one day he suddenly come he say for one week i'm not going to study i say what happened he say my father sent the money one day before expected date and after two months i find he is not going to study he is very sad i said what happened he said my father was supposed to send on fifth of the month and this time money came on sixth so i'm very sad so his problem was that with little things he will become very happy or very sad one day he decide that in medical school he took in the morning class and after that he was very very happy and decide not to take any other class because professor gave a good lecture so he want to miss all the lectures because of happiness next day i found after the first class again he doesn't want to attend any class i said what happened to you now he said because professor did a very bad lecture and my day start bad i don't want any other class so that is really not a very good way to live your life isn't it so these are the people in common language we say they are very moody the mood is not stable we say unstable mood and usually we are very careful about them uh, because we have some bad experiences with them right when their mood gets foul right so everyone knows about those people around you as that they are moody and let's be careful if you have to tell him some bad news like right? so that is also a trouble in the long run it doesn't help them or does it enhances the quality of life if you become too much fluctuate on positive side or negative side inappropriate fluctuations inappropriate in degree this is condition is called cyclothymia what is it called cyclo thymia what i'm saying that when we will talk about antidepressant drugs or drugs that drugs used in mood disorders we'll hear these terms that these drugs uh, on in the when we are uh, discussing about the psychopharmacology of the drugs used in uh, depressions or manias so all these terms you will see right so again what is dysthymia dysthymia is person who is inappropriately unhappy all the time right it's better to be cyclothymic than this this time yeah because at least at times you become happy also <laughs> is that right and i always say if i have a choice and out of these i have to choose moderate depression or hypomania i will choose hypomania whatever people think at least i'm happy <laughs> is that it is that right i remember one of my professor of psychiatry he used to say that uh, he has seen so many patient with hypomania and he has seen so many patient with depression he said one of my good wishes are why don't dear god make me hypomanic and i feel all the time happy right anyway but that that is just a joke because it produces trouble for the person who is hypomanic and trouble for the society also and not only they are uh, giving their money to everyone and they are uh, the hypomanic men get into trouble too much manic and hypomanic the sexual drive goes up this is not good i mean sexual performance may go up or not but drive goes up and they want to make sex with every woman around and you see what people do with them right and 
uh, hypomanic women, they are not much trouble for others, but they get a trouble themselves. They, they get pregnant because men take advantage of the situation and their mood. Is that right? So this is another very big problem with the hypomanic and manic people that they develop extremely high sexual interest because they're too much confident. If uh, you just imagine this man gets hypomanic and then he thinks that every woman around is in love with him and he can have a relation with everyone and by the evening he will be very disturbed because he may have big disappointment. But because he's hypomanic, he doesn't mind that disappointment. He will say, these 10 women don't want to have sex with me. There are 100 more women, no problem, <laughs> right? So this is hypomanic attitude towards life, isn't it? So what I'm saying that these are, again, now you have to tell me, if someone is perpetually unhappy, this same, yeah. Someone fluctuate pathologically to happiness and uh, sadness, but rapid fluctuations, cyclothermia. Someone who feels worthless, helpless, hopelessness, and inability to enjoy the day to day small players, and his mood is fluctuation is for a long time. What is that? Depression, right? And during the depression, if we develop uh, some delusions uh, related that I'm not, he says, my body is not there, or this is. He has a house, but he says, this is not my house. This is a house of some unknown person. This is delusions. What is that? Psychotic depression. Right? Someone become very colorful in his personality and behavior and inappropriately happy, inappropriately giving the money to others, or talking too fast and still in touch with the reality, hypomania. But if someone becomes extremely elated mood and loses contact with the reality is mania. Now interesting. Then. There are some people who unfortunately keep on fluctuating from here to there and then come back. You know, cyclothymia was unhappiness, mild to moderate, but for a long time. Here is depression again and coming back. What is that? Unipolar disorder. This is called unipolar disorder. And some unfortunate people, really unfortunate people, they are like this. From, from here they jump to the severe depression and from the depression may jump to the mania. So they have capability in different part of the life, fluctu extreme fluctuations in the mood. What are these? Bipolar disorder. They are called bipolar disorder. Yes, what's your question? Anhedonia is inability to enjoy day-to-day -day small players of the life. There are people, in the, during the depression, you will find depressed people don't enjoy anything. You get it. For example, if you are truly clinically depressed, if good food come, will you enjoy? If you are good dressed, you will enjoy? If you see good weather, will you enjoy? They don't enjoy it. This is a very typical feature in the depression, which help in the diagnosis, right? So that's all for today. Let's have a break.